Voy a intentar hablar en español. Gracias por comprender. Este, I'm going to speak in Spanish. También, ¿no? Thank you for forgiving my mistakes. Pero voy a presentar muy este, cortito. I'm going to present the key concepts in a very brief presentation that we use to put together this game. First of all, playing is not just having fun, but also reflecting, sharing, and learning, and spending some time in an entertained way. The museum is a space to coexist and come together where people go with a little more time and many people think that in the museum there are strange objects. So the idea is to uh, bring things closer to the people. And art brings together perception, history and interpretation and many other things. What did we accomplish? Here we have two boxes that I brought for you to enjoy. But what we did was put together a game for all ages. I have played this with a three-year-old and with the grandma of this kid. And they could play at the same time, which is very nice. You can play in the museum, outside the museum, at home, in another museum, because it, it is not based on works of art, but rather it is wor uh, based on the interpretation of the player. Also, it stimulates conversation, basically. There are many rules, and so I'm going to choose one mode, but you can invent new rules to renew the game all the time. And also, there's no, uh, there are no wrong or right answers. It depends on the rules that you establish for the game. Finally, we came up with a very appealing design, and it is designed for people and for families. What do we need to play? Here we're coming to the fun part. I'm going to select three volunteers from the room. They are up here in the first row so that they can play with me to demonstrate what the, the game is about and one of the possible modes or rules. I have nothing in my hand, but I have here a set of cards with questions or words or phrases, stimuli that can give my volunteers an idea and based on this idea, they are going to choose the images that I'm going to show on the screen. And based on their selection, they need to justify their choices to connect them to the words. I'm going to assign points because it's the only way I can do it here. But there are different ways of assigning points and I'm going to have my beautiful audience to accept with your thumb up, like in Facebook, to like it with your thumb up, or to dislike it with your thumb down. So Let's participate, and now we're going to see some of the images that are in the game. And I'm going to ask my volunteers to stand up. Please, a round of applause for them. Uh, select one card. Take one card each. One card for you and one card for you. Thank you. Ricardo here got a card. Unfortunately, he got the, you're not playing with us 
So please go back to your seat. She got the triangle card. So based on the triangle card, you can press here and you're going to make something happen on the screen, but I don't know if it is working. It will point at the image that you want to choose. Which one will you choose? Your word is triangle, so that's your prompt. She chose this one. Why? Because all of the images in some way have a number of triangles and there are triangles of all shapes. I'm going to ask the audience, do you like her answer? Do you accept? Thumbs up. Now, the ones who dislike it, thumbs down. There's one. I'm sorry, but she won. Everybody accepted her answer. You won three points. Now, the other lady, she got one or more diagonal lines. That's what her card says. Which image do you choose? Do you all see it? She's choosing this one. And what's your justification? Well, this plant, the, the bananas, have a number of uh, elements that g uh, make you imagine a number of diagonal lines. OK. What do you think, my dear audience, about what she said for her answer? Do you accept her answer? Thumbs up. Thumbs down now. If you dislike her answer, I'm sorry, dear, but you lost. And she won. We could continue playing, but I have just six minutes, so I want to thank you and come play with us in our Pinacoteca in my museum.